everyone and welcome to My Little Corner. In this video, I'm going to show you my Nintendo Switch collection. The Switch was one of the best, if not the best, purchase from quarantine last year. This is all the physical games that I have for the Switch. It's actually a very humble collection, if you will because there's a lot of other people that show their collections and they have hundreds of games like some people have like 400 games but yeah these games are so expensive that that's why I only have this many but at the end of this video I'm also going to share with you my wish list of all the games that I want for the Switch so those are basically going to be the games that I'm going to be buying in the very near future before I get into the actual games that I have, I just want to show you all the accessories that I have first for it. So actually, when I bought the Switch, I got it as a bundle, and it came with like three games and two controllers. It was the only Switch that I found at the time. So first it came with this. I don't know if this comes if it's not included in a bundle, like I don't know if this comes with the regular Switch that you buy. So basically this serves as a controller. You can just take off the controllers from here and just insert them on this one and you can use this as a controller like this. And if you don't like the design of this because it's pretty compact actually when you're like holding it, it doesn't really feel like a regular controller especially if you're used to PlayStation or Xbox. So my bundle also came with an actual Nintendo Switch official controller and this looks like the actual ones like PlayStation. It's pretty heavy, there's like a, a weight, a nice weight to it and it's definitely a lot bigger so it, feel, it feels just better using this one instead of this. Then I have a third controller and this one I actually got for Christmas from my husband and it's a really cute cat one. It is so cute. This one is definitely a lot more tiny than this. So I tend to use this one when I'm playing using the TV. I use this one. And lastly, the last accessory that I have are these thumb grips. How, these are like cute little paws. How cute are these? I actually bought them from Amazon and they were so cheap. They were like five dollars or something and it came with a pack of eight. So as you can see you can like mix and match them and they are so cute. Okay so now let's talk about games and I'm gonna show you all the games that I have and also do let me know of all the games that you're playing and what are your favorite Nintendo Switch games because I am taking recommendations. Animal Crossing, this is my favorite game. I'm just gonna show you right away. I, most of the time I'm playing on the Switch, I'm playing Animal Crossing. I actually took a break. Um, after Christmas, I took like two, three months break, but I'm back on it and I have like over 300 hours. I have a five star island. And if you, I would show you my island, but I'm actually kind of renovating and making it better at the moment. But I might show you my island once it's actually done. But this is the cutest game. It came in the bundle and I just love it. Next I have the Just Dance 2020. This is actually super fun. Um, you just basically hold one remote in your hand as you're dancing. It's fun and it's also a really good workout. And I also have the 2021 edition. And honestly, I think I'm just gonna keep buying them. Like next year, I'll buy the 2022. Then I have Mario Kart. Of course, I think everyone is gonna have Mario Kart. It's just one of those staple games that I think everyone just has for some reason. This is a party game, which just means it is recommended that you play with other people. Of course, if you're playing like with a bunch of friends with you, it's, it's really fun. But you also have the option to play online with like random people online. Not as fun as playing with actual friends with you, but still. Moving on, I have Tetris. Now, I know, I know, this game is available for free 
in the Nintendo online shop if you have an online membership. The reason why I actually got a physical copy of it is because it also comes with the one year membership. So I just thought, you know what? I'll just, instead of just buying the membership online, I'll just get this, get the membership, and I also get a physical copy of Tetris. Next up, I have this Game Night game, and it comes with Monopoly, Risk, and Trivial Pursuit. So obviously these are three different board games, but it's also fun to play it on the Switch because you can play online with people through the internet. So if you have a bunch of board games and you have no one to play them with, you can have these and play online with other people. So it's all good. My favorite out of these three is Trivial Pursuit. I've played a lot of Trivial Pursuit. I just really enjoyed those types of games of quizzes and answering questions. Next up, I have another game show. I just love game shows. I like watching game shows and sometimes I'm like wondering what if I was in the game shows. So this one has Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. So if you're used to watching these game shows, then it might be fun to play them yourselves like you're an actual contestant in the game. Then I have Zelda Breath of the Wild. This also came in my Switch bundle. Now don't be mad at me, but I'm just gonna be honest, I haven't tried the game yet. <laughs> it's been almost a year since I've had the Switch and I haven't tried this game. Um, I'm sorry. I still have it and I'm still gonna try it, I swear. It's just, I don't know, Animal Crossing kind of consumes most of my time. My husband actually was the one that tried this game, but he only played like a little bit, so I'm not sure if he actually liked it. Next up, I have Ari and the Secret of Seasons. This is actually a really cute game, like the cover also looks really cute. Uh, my husband also got me this for last Christmas. I'm still in the middle of it. I, I'm not in the middle. I'm like one fourth into it. I finished one season. I finished the winter season. So basically there's four parts to the game with, like, with each season. I finished one of them. I'm now on spring. And lastly, the last physical game that I have, my most recent addition to my collection is Ring Fit Adventure. Now this actually came in a big box. It came like this. And that's because it comes with, you know, the ring that you hold. Now this is an exercising game. So I haven't worked out in years. And this game is the game that has got me moving and working out finally. So if you wanna work out, if you feel like you have no motivation, if you think that working out is boring or you don't know what workout video to follow, this one is great. So you're working out but you're also having fun because you're playing a game. So as far as the games that I have digital that I actually bought in the online store, I have Uno which was on, I think it's free at this point. I bought it on sale and I'm like I'll just get it because I want to play, I was in a, a phase that I wanted to play Uno and again if you don't have actual people with you that you can play with, these games you can play online with other people so there's always someone to play with you. So I have Uno and then I have Cat Quest. Cat Quest was really cute, the only thing is that it ended so quickly, I just finished it in just like a few days. So yeah, but I also still recommend it, Cat Quest. It was also like on sale for like really cheap. And now as a little bonus portion of this video, I want to share with you all the games that I have on my wish list. So games that I want to play and that I will be buying in the near future. So first on my wish list is Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town. This is a new game. It's like a a cute farming game that kind of reminds me of Animal Crossing. Next is Immortals Phoenix Rising. I actually downloaded the demo already and I played through it and it was actually really fun. It's like an RPG Greek mythology and it also has like puzzles in it. I, I actually had a lot of fun playing through the demo 
so I would enjoy playing the actual full game. Next, I want Luigi's Mansion. I, I watched some playthrough on YouTube and it seemed really fun, so I actually really want to try that game. Next, I want to try the Lego Harry Potter games, the full collection one. And this one, really, I could get it on the Nintendo or I could get it on the PlayStation. Like, I also play the PlayStation 4 and a lot of most of the games, they have the same game but for different systems. So I could actually have more Nintendo Switch games, except that sometimes I choose to have the PlayStation format instead. Sometimes it's because it's on sale or they're cheaper. Um, but the PlayStation does have better graphics, so it does depend on the kind of game. Like if you want like really good graphics and a smooth play, I think the PlayStation is better to handle that. And finally, I want to try Crash 4, It's About Time. So those are the games that are on my wish list, and hopefully by the end of the year, I will be getting them very slowly and play through them. What's your favorite Nintendo Switch game? Let me know in the comments down below. So this is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.